Hey Virgos, what's going on babies? It's tea time. It's tea time. So my subscribers, welcome back babies. <clears throat> to those of you who are new to my channel, hello, hello. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea baby. I keep it real. It might get a little raw and reckless up in here sometimes, but my intention is to never hurt your feelings, baby. Okay? Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you're welcome into the room for a general Virgo read. So Virgo, please take what resonates with you. What does not resonate with you, you leave it behind, baby. Okay? Get in where you fit in. Do not apply pressure. Okay, darlings? <clears throat> please take a moment to subscribe, like, comment, share. Push your notification bell so that you can be notified for when it's tea time, baby. Starting with matters of the heart for our Virgos. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, babies? Always keep it real with yourself. Okay? Be honest with yourself. You don't want to put yourself in... Um, some type of a uh, mind block, okay? Oh my goodness. Criticizing one another will only lead <clears throat> to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Ooh, I'm in a lot of pain today, babies. So I'm trying to get this out because I felt compelled to. Um... Hopefully we can get all the way through it because I am, it, it, the pain is from 1 to 10, I, it's, 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 in a, it's on a 9. Okay, baby, so let's see what's going on in the Naughty Oracle for our Virgos. Spirit Ancestors, Angel Guides, picking up on the energy of our Virgo subscribers. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Messages, guidance, clarity. For our Virgos, here we go, babies. Can we get one? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Can we get one for our Virgos? Thank you, Virgo. Dream big, baby. Dream big, okay. Um, the don't make decisions based on guilt with the dream big. Don't make yourself small, okay? Because you don't want to outshine someone. Um, keep in mind that everyone has their own path in life and that yours just may be <clears throat> a little more outlandish than the norm, okay? Okay. It says, show more compassion and gratitude. Okay, so be grateful. Be grateful for your skills. Be grateful <clears throat> if you've been able to accomplish things that you yourself didn't believe you could. Uh, for some of you that have ideas that you want to put into play, um, don't be afraid to do so. Don't be afraid of uh, what people may think of you. Um, because we have a, him thinking of a spaceship up there. You thinking about aliens, darling? You want to go visit the aliens somewhere or some shit? <laughs> do that, baby. Do that. Oh, my goodness. So, let's see, let's see for our Virgos. What's the vibe for our Virgos? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear, spirit ancestors, angel guides? So follow your dreams, okay? Um, put them into, make them into reality, whatever they are. Try. It won't hurt to try, okay? Only people that fail are the people that don't try, okay? Try, be consistent, show the fuck up, make it do what it do, baby. Here we go, here we go. Can we get three? <clears throat> here we go, baby. Procrastination, too busy. Yeah, it makes me feel like somebody's procrastinating. That's why I was saying that whatever it is that you got going on for yourself that you may need to put time and energy into, uh, you may need to just do that, baby. 
consequences, bad choices, games, and mixed signal. Feminine energy, gentleness, nurturing, mothering. Uh, for some of you, you may feel like you're too busy with life. Life, life, baby, okay? You may um, have children. You may currently be um, pregnant. Um, you may feel as though that you don't have enough time to do whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, maybe some type of hobbies that you feel as though you're very passionate about, um, something that can come into fruition for yourself. Um, for some of you, you may be thinking that you have to give up on your dreams because you are um, creating a new family or a family, okay? For some of you, it may be your first child. You may be freaking out. Okay, um, you will have time if you can just schedule things out, balance it out. Okay, um, oh, fuck. Uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have wishful thinking, second chance, deja vu, nostalgia. <clears throat> oh, we got a runner. We got a runner. He's a runner. He's a track star, baby. Running, escape, denial, and excuses. So, heavily it feels like excuses. Like, I don't have time to do this because I have to do that. Um, my children take up too much of my time, so I can't do whatever it is. Um... For some of you, you may feel like, um, like there's no time. There's no time. You're too busy. You're too busy to do it. You're too busy to go. You're too busy to grow. You're too busy. You're too busy, but some of y'all are bullshitting. Okay, not too busy. Not too busy to figure it out to schedule it out or to balance it out, okay? For some of you, um, it can be you, it can be them. We're picking up on energy, okay? Uh, but there is wishful thinking. There's, there's, there's hope. There's hope that you can create whatever it is that you're thinking about, basically. Okay, um, for those of you who think you have to give up on your dreams, you do not. Okay, it's not about, there needs to be a little bit of time for whatever it is that's going on in your life. Okay, um, you may have to sacrifice some things for others, true, but that does not mean that you should um, procrastinate on your life, okay? Because as you go, as you move forward, as you work hard towards whatever it is, you know, some people don't even have to work hard at it. They just have to show up for it. They just need to be consistent with it. And it starts to flow, ebb and flow. Okay, babies, um, if you get up, get too stuck up in your head okay and you feel and you start telling yourself i can't do this and i can't do that and i'm too busy and i don't got time and da, 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 da. Well, that 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 will become your reality for as long as you accept that to be your reality okay loves so let's see what's in your challenge position for our virgos in the challenge position for our virgos Spirit ancestors, angel guides, picking up on the energy of our Virgos. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What is in their challenge position? What does Virgo need to work on? Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Practical baby. Self care. Oh, <laughs> exercise. Oh my goodness. Uh, exercise. Love yourself enough to exercise and enjoy the glow of good health. 
Yeah, because it feels like stress. It feels like someone feels like they made a bad choice or a bad decision or they should have never... Um, not that for some of you, you don't love your children. Just saying that uh, it was easier without a whole family. Um, thank you, spirit. Create a routine. Create a routine. That is where your challenge lies. Okay? That's where, that's, that's, that's all them, everything I was saying, that, that's, that's where it was leading to. <laughs> Have a routine. Help your, uh, helps your limit procrastination and give your, you structure. Oh, I love when the cards confirm. I absolutely adore it. Thank you, spirit. That was really cool. Really cool. Okay, and it says, shift your focus away from material and develop a healthy inner world. Yeah, um, your priorities are, are a little bit screwed up, baby. Okay, that's what it feels like. It feels like if you prioritize, if you um, create a schedule, if you um, are able to um, be positive, Okay, because it feels like negative, negative, like thinking negative about situations other than being grateful for your positive, what's going on, what is good, what is good. Yes, you may have children that are taking up your time and that you may have a little chaotic situation going on because you may not have a routine. If you build a routine, your children will follow. Okay, whatever mom or dad does the children will align with okay okay maybe it's a job a job that is taking up most of your time and you feel as though you don't have time to create a family okay there's a way well there's a will there's a way okay um it can be any situation for any of you guys okay as far as trying to balance out something that you feel as though you have to do, the things that, you know, responsibilities, okay? Life responsibilities, your responsibilities, whatever's going on in your life, baby, type of shit, right? And you can also fit in the things that you really want and desire to do, okay? Depending on your routine, depending on your schedule, depending on how you go about it, it's up, it's up to you, baby, okay? It is your life, baby. Let's move on into the tarot for our Virgos, for ancestors, angel guides, picking up on Virgos energy. Whoa, 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 that's too many, baby, that's too many. Here we go, clear, concise messages. Clear, concise messages. I just finished eating, and my mouth is still watering. It was actually really good. Okay, so we have we have a King of Swords, and we have a Six of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, it's the Ace of Wands. The possibility for a new beginning. Okay, um, someone moving away from so for some of you you may decide to move away from people places or things okay um something that is heavy on your mind heavy on your mind um you it feels like you want to leave something behind, okay? It feels like you've had enough um, of whatever situation it is. Um, for some of you, you may be trying to be logical in a situation that you already know that is not all that is cracked up to be. It can be better, basically. 
for some of you, you may feel like you have to be in your masculine energy because the masculine is not doing what he, I don't want to say should do, or I'd rather say what you need him, what you need from him to do, okay? And so if he doesn't do it, you feel as though you have to do it, okay? Um, and you may actually feel like that, that this relationship, situationship, whatever the fuck is going on over here is just not, it was a bad choice. You made a bad choice. Somewhere along the line, you've made a bad decision. Okay. Let's see what the six of swords say. The six of swords says, moving Moving on, distance, accepting lessons, departure. And the King of Swords is logical, right? Logical, moving from the mind, okay? Setting aside the emotions to do what they feel is right, what they feel is right. That doesn't necessarily make it right, but that's how they feel, okay? Or, or that's... As a matter of fact, it ain't even how they may feel. It's what they think, what their mind is telling them to do. <laughs> it says reason, baby. Reason, discipline, integrity, uh, morality, seriousness, high standards, and strictness. Okay, somebody in authority. Somebody uh, in control. I don't know, because the mind is tricky. Okay, the mind is tricky. So, let's go on, move on. So, for some of you, you may be uh, moving towards someone, someone. It can be a, a father figure also that maybe uh, you may be going to for some type of advice to see what they think about the situation. It looked like uh, her sword is raised and it looked like she said, fuck that shit. <laughs> so, we have the hangman in reverse. Okay, somebody is stalling. Procrastination is... <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You may know that you feel, that you think that you should move away. But something may be stalling you out. It may be children. Okay, uh, stalling, disinterest, stagnant. Avoid sacrifice, standing still, and apathy. apathy. Yeah, I guess. And the Page of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords makes me feel like someone who is, uh, could be like a, like a troublemaker for real, for real to me. Someone who is immature. Um... Uh, it, it says, curious, witty, chatty, communicative, inspired, vigilant, alert, mentally agile. Mm-hmm, see? <laughs> uh, somebody is in their head big time because it got me in my head as far as, um, it feels like I'm not hearing and I usually hear. Okay? So, it feels a block. It feels like a block. It feels like a block. It feels like you're dealing with someone that you may know that you don't need to be dealing with. This person may be younger than some of you. Okay. Um, the swords are up. Okay. The swords are up. So this may be someone who um, likes to debate with you. This may be someone who wants to contradict you. The things you say. Um, for some of you, this can even be like like your child getting on your nerves right now, <laughs> cause they get on my nerves right now. Um, you may not want someone to move away or go away. Someone may be wanting to leave the nest, the moon, the hierophant. And the Eight of Cups, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Somebody trying to roll out. Somebody trying to roll out. Somebody 
somebody believes that it's time to go okay someone wants to um someone doesn't know someone doesn't know there may be a secret okay because we got the moon and then we got the eight of cups okay so someone may be taking off in the middle of the night like running away it can be you it can be them but somebody may be running away in the middle of the night okay or someone wants to run away then we have a runner we had a runner there was a runner there was a track star I remember where is it <laughs> a runner escape denial excuses yeah there's a runner there's a runner Somebody may ghost you. Someone may have ghosted you. You may feel like you need to ghost someone. Okay. Three of Cups. Somebody wants to be single. Somebody wants to be mingling. Someone wants a different type of kind of lifestyle than the one that they are thinking that they're getting and feeling like it's not... Um, like there's no growth okay there's no growth so you may feel like you're stuck with someone or you've been with someone or you're finally realizing that there's no growth with someone it can be someone who procrastinates someone who be bullshit okay someone who's immature somebody who wants to debate every fucking thing someone who wants to argue with you about what you think is supposed to be right or wrong okay or how you supposed or, or how it's supposed to be how is it supposed to be but it's not actions there's words 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 but the hierophant the hierophant okay knows the hierophant is wise is in the center of the reading baby okay tradition social group um con conventionality conformity education knowledge and beliefs okay so it feels like you you know you have your you have strong beliefs okay you have experience experience you have um for some of you you're educated enough to know that although someone is keeping secrets or there's things that are hidden the path is unclear okay that it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Somebody wants to go. Some, somebody wants to go the other way. That's how it feels. Or someone already did because up there we had um, escape. We had wishful thinking, second chance, deja vu, nostalgia. And we have a king of pentacles. So there's two kings, baby. And the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay, okay. So there's a decision. There's a choice. There's a choice. Somebody may be running away towards a king of pentacles. There's a choice, but somebody may stop that shit. Mm -hmm. With the will of fortune and divine timing, you can be successful at what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life. Okay, okay. So we're moving on. We're moving on into the light tears. Um, there's two kings. Uh, the one on top kind of made me feel like it was like an authority figure, like a father figure, like someone that so, that someone can turn to for advice. Um, this king down here, um, somebody's walking toward. This may be friendship. It may not be um, anything more yet. Okay, we have uh, community gatherings, celebrations, group events, and social events. Abundance, prosperity, security, ambition, safety, kindness, patriarchy, protectiveness, and provision. So, uh, you may meet someone at an event. Oof, we got a tower moment. Okay, so the shit gonna hit the fan, baby. But before I go up there, back over there, you may meet someone or run into someone, go out with some friends or a situation um, that you'll run into someone. 
Maybe someone you don't want to see. Or maybe it'll be like a family reunion. Let's see, let's see. For our Virgos, Virgo, please like, comment, please share. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. If you have not yet become a subscript uh, subscriber, please do so, baby. I pick up on the energy of my subscribers, baby. So there's going to be the shit gonna hit the fan and somebody's gonna feel um the consequences of whatever situation, action. Uh, whatever happened, baby. Okay, whatever happened, something's going to crash and burn and leave somebody feeling left out in the cold. Okay, um, someone may feel betrayed. Page of Swords, again. Someone may cause some type of disruption that's going to leave somebody out in the cold, okay, or that's going to push someone away. Someone's going to make some type of decision that's not going to turn out as planned, okay? not going to turn out as planned. We have an Ace of Wands. The, the webs that we weave woof, in our life, baby. Okay. And we got turning back. And we got Nine of Cups also in reverse. The Ten of Wands in reverse. And the ten, Nine of Cups in reverse. With the hangman on the bottom again. Uh, the signs out here so far are masculine, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra, Pisces, Taurus, uh, masculine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. Um, so, yeah, mm -mm -mm. somebody's going to make a real bad decision. Someone's going to end up in a situation that they may not be able to get their, their subs out of. So, Virgo, it seems like someone is going to create, okay, a tower moment okay by because i say that because we have the nine of cups in reverse the nine of cups in reverse with the moon is someone who's being cocky okay someone who's being arrogant um it feels like for some of you this situation is overwhelming and you're ready for it to come to its conclusion with death on top of the Eight of Cups, walking away and ending that shit. Okay, babies? Walking away and ending that shit. Um, due to uh, some type of epiphany, baby. We had the Ace of Wands. Um, finally getting it right in your head. This, whatever it is that you've been thinking of. Okay? For some of you, you may um, visualize it in your dreams. You may just be planning on something, okay? Um, something that you may have been procrastinating on. A decision that you have been procrastinating on. And then we got the world in reverse. It's time to move on. Somebody's trying to prevent it, like, it, some, like, or taking your time with it. Like, not just nipping it in the bud, taking your time with it. It's like taking your time, procrastinating, bullshitting, um, not getting it done, okay, not getting it done. 
And it's time to get that shit done. The eight of wands is fast forward movement, baby. Okay, it can be conversations of equal give and take. Somebody going on a date, the Hierophant, being able to, with the Nine of Pentacles, So, there's a decision. It seems like there may be a decision between two people. Um, you may have made a, a bad choice, a bad choice. For some of you, you may have ended up pregnant. For some of you, you may have ended up um, overburdened, overwhelmed somehow in the situation. And it is time to end that shit. Okay, it's time for closure. Okay, you have death and a rebirth and the world in reverse. The world in reverse is closure. Okay, death and a rebirth is done. No mas. That's it. Okay, that's it. Not doing it anymore. Not wanting it anymore. Moving forward. Fast and furious too with the eight of wands, baby. Okay, fast and furious with the eight of wands. So, let's see what we got in the Lover's Oracles for our Virgos. Gotta get busy, Virgo. You gotta get busy, baby. And not busy in a procrastinating way. Not saying that you are, but, uh, but actually getting busy on the things that matter. Actually getting, on, getting the ball rolling on things that are going to benefit because something is burdensome okay something is too much there may be arguments there may be there's setbacks there's the shit gonna hit the fan okay there's no routine there's no um uh with the tower there's no structure there's no structure. And whatever it is, there's no structure. Can we get three spirit ancestors, angel guides, for our Virgos? Somebody. Ooh. Oh, and mercy. Look who done hit the scene, baby. Look who done hit the scene. Okay. We got the mother player play up in here. We're in a mask. Ooh, trying to come back around. That's so what's so. This so what's so. Oh, let's see something here. Surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual, mass, hidden motive, concealed, disguise, lying, the player, charming, manipulative, karmic, and being tested. So you may be dealing with two, you, your choice may suck. <laughs> you may be dealing, baby, with two people that, that are not good for you, okay? You may be dealing with one person that is immature, is lacking, is not up to standards, Someone who likes maybe to argue, someone who likes to debate shit, someone who wants to, if you say it's green, they say it's blue, okay, that type of shit. The other one, although he may be better, is a player player, is a cheater, he's a cheater. And for some of you, you just may be sitting on the sidelines like, you know what, I'm going to just stay single. You know, for some of you, you may decide, I'm going to get that divorce, okay? Why? Because the grass is greener on the other side. And then there's a text message, phone call, direct message from a secret crush that you have unfinished business with, and the divine is bringing that right on up, baby. It can be someone you ghosted or someone who ghosted you. You'll see that. You'll see that. 
Sometimes you feel like you're stuck in a situation. You're stuck with certain people. You're stuck. You can't move on. There's no reason. There's no nothing you can do. But the truth and the reality is that when you start to remove yourself, things start going your way. When you start realizing that no matter what you do, you and this person are not going to be on the same page. Or you and the other one ain't going to be on the same page either because of the simple fact that he also is a player player. One is a liar, one is a player. Okay? Um, and that you don't need that shit in your life with the single. Okay? Then you will start to align. And go after the things that do suit you, the things that are for you, the people who are part of your soul tribe. Okay, honeys? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go, here we go. Let's see what's lingering on the dark side. For our Virgos, can we get three? Spirit ancestors, angel guides, can we get three for our Virgos? Well, I can't see that one. Uh, Self-indulgence. Focus on self, baby. Self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. And that, that page of swords was out twice, which also means someone that's watching you. They can be watching you online. They can be watching you however, whatever. And then there's a love call, baby. Someone expresses love. A message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. It came up over there too. A secret admirer, somebody you're not going to expect. It's unexpected. Clap. Need time, takes time, in time. Cycles. Time to heal and progress, baby. Make healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self love, self care, and being happier. Okay, babies, we don't make this shit up, baby. It is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. We can go through the, all, every single deck we got and we'll get the messages. And they confirm each other, baby. Okay. We channel what comes down. We send it out to you guys. Yes, yes, yes. That's how it works over here, baby. So please take a moment and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell and hit all so that you can be notified. Please hit the like button to show me some love, some appreciation. Okay, send me a little comment if any of this reading resonated with you. Talk to me nice. I read those. Okay, babies, let's see, let's see what may be coming up in romance for our Virgos, spirit ancestors, angel guides. Can we get three? Separation, yep. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. People were trying to roll out, okay? People was trying to roll out. I seen that uh, we had the, she got on the little boat trying to get to the other side. We had the Eight of Cups walking away. We had the moon not knowing what's up ahead. Uh, make the effort. Great, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And for some of you, okay, it says give your relationship a chance. Okay, work on your partnership. Because for some of you, you're really in your head painting a picture your own picture, okay, about how things are supposed to be, how you expect things to be, how you wanted it to be, okay, and life don't work that way, life don't work that way, baby, the universe will laugh in your face when you tell the universe, this is how it is, and this is how it's going to be, bullshit, because you don't know what's up ahead, because the moon was definitely out, Okay, so you may be uh, speaking speaking on things that you don't know the outcome of. Doing so may cause you to push someone away. Okay, 
someone that you may currently be starting a family with okay because you want them to be and do and move the way you want them to be and do and move because your way is the only way and that's not the way okay your way is your way that doesn't mean that's the only way to get it done okay if you start to accept that you need to let let it go with the flow and make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing and that you are putting in the effort, the time, the attention, and the um, and good vibes. Okay, moving with it with integrity. Okay, using your intuition, showing love and support. Maybe then you will see that the other person can reciprocate that to you because you took your foot off their neck. But when you got your foot on somebody's neck because they not moving the way you move or they not moving the way you want them to move, okay, you will push that person away. So let's get a message from the Zodiacs for our Virgos, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling towards our Virgos, starting with the water signs. Starting with Pisces. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Pisces, can we get one? I don't know what to say. Next up, Cancer. Cancer, can we get one for our Virgos? Cancer. I lied to you. And I've been struggling. Okay, we only getting one, so we're putting that one back. Uh, Scorpio, for Virgos... Yes, it's too late. Yes, it is too late. Okay. Gemini for Virgo. Gemini. I wondered how far this would go. Okay. Aquarius for Virgo. Can we get one? Aquarius. We are not right for each other. And Libra for Virgo. Libra for Virgo, Libra. I never used to look at you the, in that way. Okay. Uh, Earth signs, Capricorn for Virgo. Capricorn, can we get one? What you may be thinking, what you may be feeling towards our Virgos. I can still see you standing there. Taurus for Virgo. Taurus. You didn't imagine it. And Virgo. For Virgo. What they may be thinking. Here we go. I don't trust you. Okay. Moving on. Fire sign. Sagittarius. For Virgo. Can we get one? Got two. We are more alike than I admit. And I scared myself that day. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Leo for Virgo. Leo for Virgo. Can we get one? Leo for Virgo. Leo. In that moment, I didn't care. And I do wish you well. That sounded really honest. Um, Aries. Aries for Virgo. Can we get one? Aries. I never want to feel that way again. And why did what did you want from me? On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy baby is you are not part of my plan. Okay, darlings. Those were your messages, what they may be thinking, what they may be feeling from the zodiac for our Virgos. Okay, Virgo, go ahead and ask your question. I'll give you three answers, baby. You can ask one question. You can ask two questions. You can ask three questions. And while I deal this out one more time, shuffle it one more time. And those of you who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Hit all. Okay? I appreciate the love and support you show to my channel. It's free, darlings. Thank you. 
Here we go. Here we go. Can we get three answers? Angel guides for our Virgos. Answering questions for Virgo. A year from now. Romance. And it's up to you. On the bottom of the deck it says, ask your angels, baby. So maybe you need to take a moment to sit in silence, to let your mind clear, speak with your angels, mentally, tele telepathically, okay? And you'll be surprised at the answers that you may get in silence. So for some of you, you're procrastinating. So that's maybe why it's going to take longer than it should. Okay, the faster you start to make good decisions for yourself, the faster that you can start to manifest the life you really desire. Okay, babies, fortune cookies for our Virgos, spirit ancestors, angel guides, fortune cookies for our Virgos to take along the way in their soul's journey. You have signs, baby. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Awesome. Personal riches. Small successes are likely now, and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get-rich schemes. Okay, and property. A property purchase or sale for many. But heed security concerns in any transactions. Okay, make sure you read that shit right. Make sure you get them lawyers where you need them, baby. Communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendship. I said that in the reading. It's in the reading. I remember. <laughs> a lucky win seems likely. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.